Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is anxiety versus attraction. Now, this is video number 160. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the channel, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and hit like. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, let's talk about anxiety versus attraction. Now, this video is mainly geared towards dating. However, it can be useful in a relationship situation. So let me set the stage here. You're single. You've begun looking for a partner to date. Maybe you're going on meetups. Maybe you're using Tinder or Bumble. You message that first message or you walk up and you introduce yourself. And this is the first time you'll feel some anxiety. Why is this happening right now? Because the first thing going through your mind is a fear of rejection. But let's take a look and examine what rejection really is. Rejection is defined in this scenario of you being worried that you are not enough, right? Rather than you not being right for the job. And this is something that actors go through all the time. And to use an example, imagine I look in the paper and there's a casting call for a grandmother. It's probably not appropriate that I show up and try and audition for the role of a grandmother when I am very much not a grandmother, right? I don't look like one. I don't sound like one. It's not that I'm not a good actor. It's that I'm not right for the part. So why do I use this example? Because we should be using this mentality for dating situations. If you're approaching somebody and you're already defeating yourself before you even audition, then you're telling yourself, a story. I'm not good enough. They don't like me. I feel anxiety because I fear rejection rather than just saying, hey, it is what it is. They're either going to say yes or no. If they say no, I'm not going to take it personally. I wasn't right for the part. Another instance where anxiety might overcome attraction is after the first date. We are all worried if they liked us enough to see us again. And so we begin asking approval seeking questions. So, am I going to see you again? Or, did you have a good time? Instead of thanking them, knowing that you had a good time, and not going home, sitting in front of your phone for the next four or five days, hoping to hear from them. Rather, you allow yourself to understand that if they liked you enough, they'll contact you, and not turning to unhealthy, anxious behaviors like stalking their Facebook, or talking to their mutual friends, or trying to get to know a little bit more about them, or trying to find out through mutual friends what they thought of you. These types of things exude anxiety. And in the presence of anxiety, attraction cannot grow in that particular context. Now, there is an instance where anxiety can help attraction grow. And it is this. When the other person is unclear on how you feel, they have a need to figure it out. They have a need to solve the puzzle. They want to know that you think that they are worthy enough. But this is a superpower because you're not worried about what they think and they are very much worried about what you think. The person who cares less in a relationship or dating situation is the one who controls it every time. Now, I want to be very clear here. The point is not to go out manipulating people. Because that means you haven't really learned anything from any of this. The point is to go out there and not be manipulated. To go have a good time. And to know that you do not need to validate the other person. Not because you're not interested in dating them. But because it's not your responsibility to participate in what they think of themselves. If you had a nice time, tell them. But if there's anything you should have learned from my channel, it's that kissing somebody's ass is not attractive. And your goal is is to focus less on the anxiety and more on the attraction. Another example is to think about the actual dating scenario. You're both there having a coffee. You're sitting in your chair stirring, worrying about how you can seem cooler or more confident or attractive. You're leaning forward because you want to hear what the other person is saying and showing them that you're interested rather than relaxing, taking a seat, leaning back, and not worrying about what they think of you. And knowing that if they're there with you, and this is the second date, the third date, they already are enjoying themselves around you. 
They already want to be near you, which means that they like you. So there's no need for anxiety because too much anxiety will kill a relationship. Look, we're human. We're going to feel some anxiety. But through your actions, you can lessen the amount of anxiety you feel and you can walk in a situation understanding why you feel how you feel and knowing how to use it to your advantage. You're not going to be riddling this person with tons of approval-seeking questions or wanting to know if they think you look good. Things like that exude anxiety, and we know that anxiety in that context is not attractive. You now know, through my channel, through your other studies, that attraction and confidence go hand in hand. Attraction is and anxiety, however, are repellents. They don't agree with each other. And you know that any anxiety you have can be worked on. You can talk to your mental health counselor, you can go to the gym before you go on your date. There are ways around this anxiety. But what I am telling you is that in the presence of anxiety, attraction will not grow. In the presence of confidence, in self-love, attraction will grow tenfold. Because we seek what we lack. And if I'm dating somebody who has tons of self-confidence and they love themselves and they're happy, I'm going to want a piece of that. And so I'm going to find ways I can be closer to that person. So perhaps a good exercise for today is to examine how you've acted on previous dates if your memory is that good. If not, observe how you act on future dates. See where there's room for improvement. See where you're injecting a little bits of your anxiety and insecurity into the situation and maybe see helpful and useful ways around it. When we get analytical about our problems, it's usually a lot easier to solve them. And because this is a community and we're all here to help each other out, if there's anything useful that you've learned along the way, don't forget to leave it in the comments section below so that everybody can help each other. I will be doing a video for Saturday, so I hope you enjoy. And that's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free giveaways of my book, just visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash thelovechat. Until next time.